reaction I typically get when people find out that I'm a field hockey coach is what else do you do? Uh, so there's not a lot of thought that this is a very intense job or I think the perception is that we sort of roll out the balls and set up some cones and people go around for an hour and a half and then the rest of the time I must have either another job or I go play golf. I don't think that they have any clue of how hard we work and how much we put into uh, the, the kids lives but I think that in some ways that's to be expected. They can't possibly understand that we value the actual person, not just the student or the athlete here. And so that means you have a huge investment in them and that you're trying to help them through rough patches in their life and trying to be there as a strong mentor. That's a great goal. All right. So what we go to is, let's go to Fancy. I want Marilyn. Marilyn will be wide Steve open. Jennings is um, a pretty remarkable person. I think that I've been really fortunate to have him in my life for both hockey and just everything because when you come to college life doesn't stop and when you're a division one athlete it's not like all the other problems in the world go away and so it's nice to have someone who is supportive and understanding when you're going through things and I can't tell you how much I've improved since I've been here in field hockey and having someone that believes in me so much like he thinks I could go to the Olympics so it's just really amazing to have someone in your life who believes in you that much and wants you to be the best that you can be. My coaching philosophy is largely based around positive reinforcement. So everything we try to do within our culture is to try to get people to achieve through uh, desire as opposed to through fear. We want to challenge people to be the best that they can be uh, in every uh, aspect of their lives. So whether it's on the field or in the classroom or in their personal life, we're looking for people that truly want to embrace excellence, embrace their passion, and really go for it. We're really lucky that we're able to have such a talented collection of people to come together as a team, uh, and ultimately that philosophy within the team is something that's really allowed us to flourish over the years. I continue to coach because I have a great passion for the sport, and I have a, an immense love and appreciation for my players. Good job, Barry! <laughs> the other side of the equation is that it's something that is a big challenge. Those are the two ways we need to slide. So it's either this or it's this. Makes sense. That'll put the most referred pressure on. And each year you know you're really on the line. Each day you know you're on the line because you have an emotional reaction that's incredibly visceral. Whether it's a, a high or a low, you always are feeling it. And I like the, the feeling of being miserable after a loss because I know that I'm completely invested. The last part, which is the most important part, is actually being involved in people as they come into this experience as, relatively speaking, not confident uh, individuals, unsure about their potential. Way to wait for it, G. That's the right space now. You're figuring out how to hit it. And seeing that really they can do anything they put their mind to. It's an incredible process and journey to be a part of. Good job. a girl. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. Yeah. Get the goals up.